welcome this is Natasha so today I'm gonna jump right into a few cards that I made today I'm gonna start off with doing some I did some alcohol ink uh, panel or panel yes and so I used some of this alcohol pearl inks so in this one I used splendor uh, deception intrigue alchemy sublime and I did use just a regular alcohol ink and that is stream Okay, and so I'm taking the stamp scent from the Simon Says Stamp, the Delicate Flowers. This was a, um, this whole thing actually today that I'm using is all from the previous kit from Simon Says Stamp. I think it was a couple of months ago, um, kind of behind on this as, you know, a little behind on it. So, um, anywho using some of the stamps from that stamp set i'm going to be using some versa mark um, ink and stamping down my flowers and leaves onto this um, alcohol ink background i did prep my surface with some anti-static uh, powder and just stamping them stamping the images down where i kind of want um, like what colors I really want in the images. So when I'm done stamping everything, I did use the Simon Says Stamp Gold Embossing Powder and I embossed all of these images here and then I fussy cut everyone out. Okay, so using this um, pink watercolored background, this also came in the kit. It's a cardstock from this Moda Scrap, the Let Your Soul Bloom. Um, pack that came in that card kit that month from Simon Says Stamp. So I used that, uh, I cut down that panel using a rounded rectangle die and I'm going to be using another um, scrap paper or cardstock paper from that same um, card, the card pack and just gluing that down with some liquid adhesive and then taking my corner chomper and rounding all the corners of my card base. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to be laying down all my pieces where I kind of want it to go. I'm going to just be doing my placement. And once I get my placement all figured out, I will be popping some of these images up on foam adhesive and some I'll just glue down with some liquid adhesive. All right, so this video, um, I don't know, I think I just have it in ultra high speed. So sorry if I'm trying to talk fast or get through this fast. I did. It's kind of moving quickly, but um, we're going to get through this quick. So using some liquid adhesive, I'm just going to be adding that to the back of this panel that I made and then just gluing that straight down onto my card base. And looking at it now, that leaf piece looks a little um crooked anywho it still came out really cute so adding some of those little dew drops onto the petals of the flowers i'm just going to bring it in for a little close-up and look at that it's on the correct way it opens up correctly not like my last card in the last video moving on so i took another pattern paper from that same card um cardstock pack and using my stitched border die, I'm just going to be running that through my die cut machine and cutting out this panel. Okay, using a jelly roll pen, this is the glitter. And I'm just going to be adding a couple little dots in random spots. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just adding the little shimmer just to give it something a little extra because I wanted to keep it simple and sweet. I really wanted to show off that beautiful watercoloring that someone had done. Here's a close-up of all the little dots of shimmer and that wasn't enough shimmer so I'm gonna be adding um, my sentiment I'm gonna be die cutting from Elizabeth crafts you guys have seen this die like a bajillion times probably because I love it so much the happy birth happy birthday die so I cut the happy from that same pink cardstock from the previous card and then using that um, silver glitter paper I cut up birthday okay so just had a little more shimmer 
Um, I'm going to be using the iridescent watercolor that came in a card kit previous. I believe it was a Hero Arts card kit. And I'm going to be using my paintbrush and just adding some shimmer to this um, watercolor piece. So keeping it super simple, I, you know, just am tracing over what is already there. I'm going to just do a close up and you can see that baby shine. It's so pretty and so elegant. Okay, so using some liquid adhesive, I am going to be adhering down the birthday. And then I'm also going to be, I wanted to entwine um, a couple of the little swirly parts of happy um, into and around the birthday. And I, I think I've done this same technique a bunch of times on previous, when I use this die cut on previous cards. So same technique. And then I did take my Misty at this point and I stamped down, oh, I used my, um, there was a little bit of adhesive that was stuck there. So I used my eraser to get that off. Okay, so I stamped down your amazing in some black ink, applied that with liquid adhesive to my pink cardstock base, and that card's done. So moving on to the next two cards, I took this uh, cardstock piece and I took a tag, a stitch tag die cut, and I cut out two pieces from that one cardstock. I really wanted to get the butterfly in on that one piece. So, okay, so taking this first piece, I'm gonna take the Avery L, the Aquamarine, and I'm gonna be um, adding some ink to the sides all around this tag die cut, just to kind of give it a little pop because it's gonna be, it's a white piece on a white cardstock base. So I just wanted to give it a little pop. And then doing the same exact thing, I use the iridescent watercolor and I'm just going to be adding the sparkle to all of the flowers and leaves on this pretty cardstock. So nice and so simple. You don't need to do too much, you know, just adding that little bit of extra something. So this bad boy is going to be shimmery, shiny, gorgeousness. Okay, here's a little close up of bam all that sparkle okay so i'm using the we are memory keepers um, embossing folder this is really the dots and i'm going to be running that through my die cut machine comes out beautiful all that dimension just a little pop i wanted to put where i'd hear my tag piece a little kind of off center i use this yay die from my favorite things and i cut that out of the glitter card stock and then i did poke a hole at the top of the tag and added some ribbon adhering my yay onto the panel and then i took that and put it into my misty and stamped out um the little sentiment under the yay Okay, and then I adhered the tag right onto my card base with some fun foam and I did kind of off center it. Okay, let's move on to the second one and it's basically the same thing. I did the iridescent watercolor. I cut out the yay this time with some gold, uh, gold cardstock. Yep. Um, I used the We Are Memory Keepers. I believe this is... Gosh, um, I don't remember. I think it's a weave or, yeah, I can't remember. Sorry, um, I'll try to see if I can post it down in the bottom in the description. And then I took the Yay, I um, put that on with some liquid adhesive. I stamped out another sentiment in black ink and then adhering this whole thing down with some fun foam with liquid adhesive and that will be that card. I also added some clear dew drops as well just to give it a little bit more of a pop. And it says you, uh, yay, you're amazing. And those little sentiments came from that um, delicate flower stamp set, even the one on, on the other one that says yay, so happy for you. 
So those are the two cards that I created with those tags. And then I'm going to pull in the other two that I created as well today. Simple, elegant, fun, great girly cards to send to your girlfriends or sisters, mothers. Okay, and so here's a couple of still shots of the cards that I made today. Please um, check me out on Instagram. I have a couple of little shots of these cards that I made um, on my Instagram as well. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that like bo uh, button and comment below. And um, I will be back with another video so please stay tuned and i will catch you on the next video mahalo